of those 11 hurricanes, they're predicting five of them to be major. Now I want to go back to our seasonal av average over the last 30 years. Usually we see 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, and of those seven, about three major hurricanes. Well, last season and the season before were also above average or very active, and that's exactly what they are expecting for this year. Now, we want to let you know that this was expected. We are seeing El Nino go away, and what we should have seen during an El Nino season, meaning last year, was maybe a bit less activity. Well, that wasn't the case. So we're actually going to be seeing some pretty warm Atlantic waters and boy, are we already seeing that. So I actually want to take you out to our mapping showing you sea surface temperatures. Now, when we talk about hurricanes and really tropical systems that they start get going because of the warm waters and it's April 5th and we're already seeing sea surface temperatures just above average by a degree, if not uh, a bit under that, but still warmer. So you can see all of these spots in the Atlantic right now that are shaded in this yellow, if not some orange coloring, are showing those warm temps. And likely as we see temperatures rise as we get closer to summer, you know, that's inevitable. We're going to be seeing a lot more of these areas that are shaded in this yellow color. So warm water is something that can really help pick up the speed and potentially intensity of some of these storms. Again, nothing right now. We are still, you know, several days and several weeks away from the start of the season, but just something that we're looking ahead to. Now we talked about El Nino where we're actually seeing below average water temps. Well, this is the only area that we're seeing it and it's out in the Pacific. So we're likely going to be seeing that area shrink and continue to shrink, you know, until we are knocking on the door of June 1st. Now, June 1st is the start of the Atlantic hurricane season. Uh, the last six, sorry, six out of the last seven seasons, rather, we've seen name storms before the start of hurricane season. So June 1st is that time where we say, okay, hurricane season has begun. Is there the potential for some storms to develop before that? Yes, and usually when it does, it's in May and it's close to that June 1st mark. But you know, this is something that we are going to be watching for you very, very closely. Now I wanna take you out to storm names this year. Starting with A, we have Alberto, Beryl, Chris, Debbie, Ernesto, Francine, Gordon, Helen, Isaac, Joyce, Kirk, Leslie, Milton, Nadine, Oscar, Patty, Raphael, Sarah, Tony, Valerie, and lastly, William. Now I'm reading off these names and that doesn't mean that we are going to be seeing every single storm or name be used. So there's 21 names on this list. A few years ago, we went well past that. And you're probably wondering, okay, what if we do go through that? Then they have a secondary list of names that then we would go to and then continue on through. But still at the start of the hurricane season, but a friendly reminder, these are what the names would be, you know, going down the list. So we'll be uh, checking those off if we do come to them, but we're still 58 days away from the start of the hurricane season. Now, as we're getting closer, we know here in Houston, things have been relatively quiet over the last year or two. I'm actually coming from the Fox station in Orlando, where the last two years have been really busy. We had three hurricanes make landfall across the Florida Peninsula within those two seasons. One was Hurricane Ian, and if you remember anything about that, it was a catastrophic hurricane that made landfall in Fort Myers as a cat category four, but I mean, it was a few mile per hour winds away from reaching that category five, and it was. It actually decreased just a hair before making landfall. And then where I was in Orlando, it was still a category one hurricane, so still strong winds and a lot of rain, but storm surge was uh, just devastating for the coast of Florida near Fort Myers and, you know, points out. So we just want to let you know that you don't want to let your guard down. 
maybe you're coming from somewhere that hasn't had hurricanes that you need to make sure that you're staying aware. Well, download the Fox local app. That is going to be your best friend as we get into hurricane season. You can also head over to our website, fox26houston.com, where we are going to, once it comes hurricane season, we'll have daily tropical forecasts, but our very own John Dawson, he does what we call hurricane gear tests. So he actually tests out some of this gear that's on the market that folks are talking about on social media. Is it hype? Is it worth it? Should I get it? You know, and uh, our chief meteorologist Mike Iskovitz was saying earlier today, hey, even if you can't get that one brand that you really like that John saw, it's an idea. There's a lot of other brands out there, other types of things that you might want, need, interested in. That's where you can find all of his gear tests and he has some awesome stuff. Again, head over to our website and it will also be on Fox Local. And we're talking about exclusive content that you're not going to get anywhere else. And, you know, we as a team collectively of our meteorologists here at Fox 26, we have a lot of experience to bring to everybody at home to let you know that you'll be safe and we're gonna help you stay safe, bring you the latest information that's so important. But we have a few minutes left and I'm gonna step off and just grab my cell phone real quick because I wanna just go back and actually, um, let me do that on the screen right now, but I wanna go back through to the outlook from Colorado State and they do have some other things that you know these graphics only hold so much information but I'll just turn the screen here I thought this was kind of interesting that they're talking about hurricane landfall probability of 2024 meaning where is the likeliest spot that we could be seeing hurricanes again our forecast models, they go out, but things could change. But they're talking about the probability of major hurricanes making landfall for the entire U.S. coastline. Average from 1880 to 2020 was 43% chance for a major hurricane making landfall somewhere along the U.S. coastline. This year, it's up to about 62% chance. But again, we have the possibility of five major hurricanes. So with that being said, the higher this number is, the higher likelihood of it hitting our coastline. We have a giant coastline. I mean, extending from Maine all the way down the Florida Peninsula, the Keys up and around into the Big Bend of Florida, and then all the way over to us here in coastal Texas. Now for the Gulf Coast, we're talking Florida Panhandle westward to Brownsville. The average chance for major hurricanes making landfall would be 27%. This year, they're talking about 42% chance. And the Caribbean, is at a 66% chance. And as we get later into the hurricane season, we likely see those storms start to go through the Caribbean and then jet out into the Gulf of Mexico. So, you know, this is something that we're going to be watching for you very, very closely. Um, and coming from Colorado State, you know, they do this early forecast, then NOAA is going to be releasing their forecast. And this is more of a number, hey, we're going to be reaching 23 storms. The NOAA, when it's coming down from them, it's more of a range. They could say 14 to 20. They could say 17 to 23. I mean, that range, you know, is as big and as small as they think, but uh, likely this is going to be an above average season. And we just want to make sure that you guys aren't scared that we're going to be here to prepare you. Now is the time to start thinking about your hurricane kits. Make sure that you have enough medication at home. If you have kids that you have enough diapers, baby wipes, dogs, don't forget about your pets. And we're going to continue to bring you those updates and those tips starting now and continuing through hurricane season.